Today, we will discuss the distributive property and solve a few equations together. Let's get started. The distributive property says we can cut, multiply, and add them together. Let's try it. When multiplying, we often skip count to solve. However, when working with larger factors, such as 8 times 9, using the distributive property comes in handy. I am going to start with an 8 by 9 array. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 rows and 9 columns. First, I will cut 9 into two smaller parts, 5 and 4. Next, I will multiply. Instead of 8 times 9, I now have 8 groups of 5 and 8 groups of 4. 8 times 5 is 40, and 8 times 4 is 32. Finally, I will add the two answers to get the total product. 40 plus 32 equals 72. That means 8 times 9 equals 72. Let's try one with larger factors. Let's solve 6 times 16 using the distributive property. The distributive property says we can cut, multiply, and add them together. Using an array, first we will cut 16 into two smaller parts. Be sure to choose two numbers that are easier for you, such as 10 and 6. Next, we multiply. Instead of 6 times 16, I now have 6 groups of 10 and 6 groups of 6. 6 times 10 equals 60, and 6 times 6 equals 36. Finally, we add them together. 60 plus 36 equals 96. That means 6 times 16 equals 96. I don't know about you, but 7s and 8s were always hard for me when it came to multiplying. We can use the distributive property when we come across difficult problems. Let's try 7 times 8. The distributive property says we can cut, multiply, and Add them together. Using an array, first we will cut 8 into two smaller parts. Be sure to choose two factors that are easier for you, such as 5 and 3. Next, we multiply. Instead of 7 times 8, I now have 7 groups of 5 and 7 groups of 3. 7 times 5 is 35 and 7 times 3 is 21. Finally, we add them together. 35 plus 21 equals 56. That means 7 times 8 equals 56. The distributive property says, say it with me, we can cut, multiply, and add them together. The distributive property says we can cut, multiply, and add them together. The distributive property says we can cut, multiply, and add them together. One more time, cut, multiply, and add them together. Thanks for watching and happy multiplying.